y'all, this is Zachary. Welcome to Burn Down's Country Kitchen. Uh, today, we're gonna get after a very quick, easy one. Uh, pizza ciabatta bread, love it. I don't know if you've ever had it on ciabatta bread, but it's so good. Um, I suggest take the time to make this sauce. Uh, it just makes it perfect. You can go buy a jar of sauce, make this a quick thing on a, on a weeknight. Kids will love it, uh, that's, that's fine. You do you. But if you take the extra minute to make this sauce, it's so good. I can't even tell you how good it is, y'all. You just gotta try it. So my suggestion, make the sauce and then make the pizza ciabatta bread. But you do you. Like I said, this is supposed to be a quick, easy, family, fun thing. So, all right, y'all, uh, enough of that. Let's get to the food. All right, of course, I got some mozzarella. Uh, I got some pepper jack slices. I might throw on a couple of them as well for myself. I do like that. Uh, for the sauce, I got my San Marzano whole peeled tomatoes, tomato paste, uh, balsamic vinegar, I got some oregano, some Italian, uh, some basil, garlic powder, and pepper. Um, you're also going to want some butter and some garlic, or if you want to buy garlic butter, that's your choice. Uh, I have some made up, but I want to show you that you're going to need that just to have it. And then whatever pizza toppings you want. Um, I'm going to go with pepperoni and some onion. And uh, Mrs. Burnt Down is probably going to want some uh, banana peppers on hers. So, all right. Well, I got some black olives too. I'm going to probably throw on mine as well. So, all right, y'all. Let's get after this food. Okay, so I already got my onions cut up from my show I did yesterday. Um, so I don't have to do that today. Luckily, I will go ahead and cut up some of this. Uh, if you didn't see the last episode, you should go watch it. Uh, it was air fryer nachos. And let me tell you, that thing was massive. There was a lot of nachos there. Lots and lots. But it's all right, because I hadn't had nachos in a long time, and they were good. But if you haven't seen it, go back and watch that video. If you have an air fryer, and do it. You can feed an army with that. So normally you can get them already diced up. Uh, they didn't have them at the store I went to. So I just got what they had, which was whole. So I just had to go ahead and cut them up myself. But it's all right, it's not a big deal. I got my onions cut. We'll get those set aside. And uh, that pan should be nice and hot now. So make sure your oven's pretty at 425. You're gonna want that nice and warm. Go ahead and put some butter in this pan. Get that melted. Oh yeah, nice and hot, y'all. Nice and hot. Yeah, let me throw some onions in. Maybe half an onion's worth. Save some for the pizza. We're just gonna want to soften this up. These onions nice and soft. A lot of you have seen me do this sauce before. If you haven't made it yet, make it a priority. So I use it for everything. That's why I call it an everything sauce. It's that good. I will not bite it at the store no more. Now a lot of y'all ain't got the time. It's fine. Go ahead and try to make this because it will up your game at the dinner table, let me tell you. But if you ain't got time, you ain't got time, go get that store-bought stuff. All right, we'll give this, I don't know, five, six minutes. Let it get translucent. Then we'll start adding to it. All right, time to get messy. Be careful, because they will explode. You just want to squeeze them and break it apart. 
Uh, I do like mine chunky. If you want yours to be less chunky, you can blend it or use a submersion blender. I will not be doing that. I will break it up the best I can with my hands and that's about it. It's so squishy. Look at that big one. That one's gonna try to blow. I'm gonna step back on that. <laughs> See, I like it chunky. I like it chunky. And I'd use this for spaghetti sauce, pizza sauce, it don't matter. Pasta sauce. It's just so good. I can't even explain it, y'all just gotta make it. Juicy. Get in there. I think I got one more left in there. A couple basil leaves as well. I do like to put basil leaves in here fresh. Um, they didn't have them at the Kroger I went to. So. Use the ones that come in this can because there's always two in these cans. But I do like to add a fresh one, but it is what it is. Alright, so we'll so get cleaned up. And we'll be right back. Next, just one can of tomato paste, six ounce can. Like if I know. But it was this easy to make this good of sauce. A long time ago, I would have stopped supporting store-bought stuff, I'll tell you that much. This stuff just, just changed my life. Changed my life, y'all. Mix that in there. When you add your seasonings, I'm not going to tell you how much. That's up to you. Everybody's taste is different. I would start with about a tablespoon and go from there. Um, but you do you. I do, I do know when you start heavy, you can't take it back out. So start light and work your way up. Go. go ahead and throw some balsamic vinegar in there. Be about a half tape, half teaspoon. That much I will tell you. This is Italian seasoning. Like I said, about a tablespoon to start with. Same with the basil. Also be the same for the garlic powder and as much pepper as you want. Usually isn't very much, just enough to give it some nice flavor. Alright, we should mix all this in. Put it on a simmer, let it hang out and incorporate for the next 15 20 minutes. We'll be good to go. Look at that sauce, it's beautiful already, isn't it? Man. You know what I about forgot, y'all? The sugar. I would start with about a half a cup and then work your way from there. I'm probably gonna do a little more than that because I know. Stir it in. I forgot the sugar. You can't forget the sugar. Wrong man. All 
I'll go ahead and check it here shortly. See if I need to add any more or not. Give that a minute to mix in with it. Okay, now's the time to add anything else you want to add to it. I'm going to do a little more garlic powder. Maybe a little more Italian. Leave it at that. As far as that goes. I'm probably going to add just a tiny bit more sugar to it. Another half a cup. Not half a cup. A couple of tablespoons. There we go. A couple of tablespoons. There we go. Mix that in and let it sit there and simmer for about five more minutes and we'll pull it and go ahead and build our pizza. Shibata pizza breads. Now at this at this time, if you don't have garlic butter made, go ahead and mix you some garlic, throw it in your butter with some parsley, mix it all around. Um, I already have some made up, so I don't need to. Or you can just buy it from the bakery section at your store. But it's too easy to make, honestly. But you do you. Some people rather just buy it. So you're going to get you a pan, whether you line it or not is up to you, uh, saves on cleaning, so line it, that's my suggestion. Go ahead and non-stick it a little bit here, and then get our ciabatta bread pulled apart. Just like so. Start building this, huh? Get your garlic butter. Go ahead and line your bread with it. Trust me, you want this step. You want garlic butter on there. Trust me. I want you to like garlic butter. And I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> and I don't know what to tell you. I still got a whole another pan of bread to do. Run out of butter. So, yep, probably have to make some more, y'all. Let's go ahead and knock out this garlic butter right quick. Make as garlicky as you want. I'm using three smaller size cloves and two bigger ones. I figured that'd give me a good, good garlicky mixture without being too bad. I have to bottle. Probably gonna do about a tablespoon. I just did a half tablespoon and we'll see. But I always add more. You can just tell by looking at it if it's where you want it to be. Like that's just a little light on the seasoning. So I'll add the rest of it in. About, about a tablespoon will do it. And just like that, you got garlic butter. And buttered. I'm gonna go ahead and sauce these up, huh? Don't be stingy. No need for it. If you put too much on, just slap some on the one next to it. 
be alright. Just want to make sure y'all got good coverage. Okay. So I got me four set aside that I'm going to do for myself. A little different than everybody else. I like the red pepper flakes on mine. healthy amount of mozzarella. Simple but good. Really good. Really good. Did I say really good? Yeah. Because it's really good. <laughs> and I'm going to have some onions on mine. Not everybody will, but I definitely will. Living by the moves to which high school blues walk ahead. Got our granddaughter over, so we're gonna do a fun pizza thing. This is where you put what you want on there. Joker's got silver lining. Holy Mary sings songs in the wet rain. Walk ahead. Go ahead and have my pepperonis. Extra pepperoni, double, triple, whatever you want, y'all. We can get him to stay on there, that's all that matters. There we go. Then, I'm going to sprinkle this a little bit more here on top. Just a little bit. Just give it some character, some love. Got me some Italian seasoning, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle a little on. Get that one in at 3 or uh, 425, just until everything melts up and toasts up. I'm going to put this in and then I'll start getting after all these other ones. Alright y'all, it's that time again. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your neighbors' friends. Uh, come check it out, Burn Down Country Kitchen. Thank you for your support. Uh, we appreciate every one of you. We appreciate y'all. And uh, enough of the business. Let's get to the food. All right. Can you see it? Come on. Taste test. Look at this. Beautifulness. Look at that. Is that not great? It's quick, it's easy. Longest part was the sauce, and even that was easy. But it's so worth it. Alright, let's take a taste test of this. That's heaven. That's heaven. I don't know what it is, but that sauce with the garlic butter on the ciabatta bread, it's just, I mean, 
I could sell this all day long or twice on Sunday and probably make a killing. It's that good. It's good. I just want to keep eating it. <laughs> I just want to keep tearing into it. But yeah, that is my uh, dinner, like always. So uh, I'm going to get after it. Make something. Make anything. Make ciabatta bread pizza. Your family's going to love it. You're going to love it. It's easy. Um, and you can cheat. Buy the store sauce. Whatever. Or you can, you can make that sauce just really easy. Um, it just elevates that to a whole other level. I promise you. Do it. Leave a comment. Let me know. And uh, you will sing the praises. You'll probably never buy a store-bought again. So be prepared for that possibility. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, I'm going to get after this. I uh, hope you liked it. Till next time.